Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows banned in other countries. Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. Oh, you do no quality. He knew the risk, it was his choice. For this list, we're looking at TV series banned in certain countries. While we will be including shows whose ban was later lifted, we won't be including series that had only one or a few of its episodes censored. Were you surprised by any of these banned series? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Malaysia. Malaysia wasn't the only country to ban this show, but it sure has the most interesting reason. We could have picked New Zealand, where later iterations of the show were filmed. The island nation temporarily banned Power Rangers when parents complained about the show's level of violence. And now, Red Ranger, it is time for me to destroy you. I must be victorious for my queen! Instead, however, we opted for a ban with a less expected reason. Turns out the government of Malaysia had a problem with the show's title, or more specifically, the word morphin. They felt it was too similar to the name of the drug morphine. Greeny, Zach, and Jason, in your hearts you will always carry the spirit of the Power Rangers. But your destinies lie elsewhere. You have been chosen to help the world in a different way now. In December 1995, the famously anti-drug nation banned the show until producers removed the offending word from its title, which they eventually did. <laughs> Witness the greatness you once were, Tommy, because it's all over now. Number 9. Andy Mack, Kenya. In the late 2010s, Andy Mack made Disney Channel history by having Cyrus Goodman, a central character, come out as gay. Cyrus. Do you like Andy? You like Jonah. The big reveal occurred in the show's second season, and the ratings went up pretty much across the board. The move also got the series praise from various groups such as GLAAD. The government of Kenya, though, wasn't singing Disney's praises. Well, that, of course, is Aunt Ruthie's kugel. Uh, that's your classic bagel and lox. That's gefilte fish. Skip that. And I'm gay. Instead, they banned the show from airing in the country, specifically because of the gay storyline. Is there anything else you want to tell me? According to Kenya Film Classification Board's chief executive, Ezekiel Mutwa, quote, any attempt to introduce gay programming in Kenya will be met with the full force of the law. Number 8. Knots Landing, South Africa. Now, this one's a bit different. Yes, this popular primetime soap opera and spin-off of Dallas was banned in South Africa. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> no. But it wasn't due to government censorship. Instead, it was withdrawn in response to that government's conduct. Confused? We'll elaborate. Lorimar Television, which produced Knots Landing and distributed it worldwide, decided to join in the cultural boycott of apartheid South Africa in the 1980s. This boycott saw international music acts refuse to play in the country, and the Oscars not air there. Sid, I know you like music, but don't you think they could have gotten you a better headset? Lorimar, for its part, refused to distribute Knots Landing and other popular shows like Falcon Crest to TV stations in South Africa until apartheid ended. Sid knew what he was getting into. He knew the risks. It was his choice. Number 7. The Big Bang Theory, China When a country bans a TV show, it's usually the result of local values or politics. And he solves the equation. The crowd goes wild. No bell. No bell. Every once in a while, though, there's seemingly no reason whatsoever to justify the move. At least not one provided by the powers that be. Bazinga. Bazinga. In 2014, China's state administration of press, publication, radio, film, and television decided to ban popular sitcom The Big Bang Theory, along with a few other American shows, from both television and streaming platforms in the country. They reversed the decision a year later, leading some to speculate that the move was simply to give Chinese-made content a financial leg up. You hear that? Professor Proton said I should call him Arthur. But that means we're friends. <laughs> No, a, a friend would have, would have told me about the elevator. 
To date, no official justification has been given beyond unspecified policy reasons. If it wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. <laughs> Number 6. Monty Python's Flying Circus, Malaysia In some countries, religious humor just doesn't fly, even when it's part of a flying circus. What on earth does that mean? I don't know. Mr. Wentworth just told me to come in here and say that there was trouble at the mill, that's all. I didn't expect a kind of Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Censors in Malaysia banned the seminal BBC comedy show Monty Python's Flying Circus from the country's airwaves when it premiered in 1969. They objected to the show repeatedly poking fun at religion, as well as its darker comedic elements. Only it does worry some people. Um, I don't know why, perhaps a little sensitive, so I do take the precaution of asking on these occasions. This ban extended to the troupe's films, including Life of Brian, which is full of religious comedy, and The Holy Grail, which, despite the name, actually doesn't focus much on religion. Walk away! Just ignore them! In recent years, Malaysia has relaxed a bit. The Python films are no longer on the banned list, and people in the country can order their series online. Number 5. The Ali G Show, Kazakhstan It's not hard to guess which Sasha Baron Cohen character got Da Ali G Show banned in Kazakhstan. In the US and A, if you want to marry a girl, you cannot just go to her father's house and swap her for 15 gallons of insecticide. It's not the titular Ali G or Bruno, but rather Borat, Cohen's over-the-top, satirical Kazakhstani man. Some in the country, including certain members of the Kazakhstan media, got the humor and the fact that the United States was the real butt of the joke. Others, however, most definitely did not. Ali should tell this joke? Probably not. The government even blocked Cohen's website after the character appeared. The ban was lifted by the time the Borat movie was released, but the debate surrounding the character persists. Give me a smile, baby. Why angry face? <laughs> well, uh, what you're saying is very demeaning. Do you know the word demeaning? No. Number 4. MASH, South Korea MASH was a huge success around the world, but not in the country where it was set. Oh, you do no quality. In the decades following the end of the Korean War, the government of South Korea was very interested in rehabilitating the country's image. A comedy show depicting the country as impoverished and its people as dependent on the American military was clearly not what the government had in mind. So they banned it. All right, come on, a joke is a joke, but not in post -hoc. Now come on, now cut it out. Both of them. When the actual mobile army surgical hospital that the show was based on closed in 1997, cast members from the show were in attendance. Proving that the backlash went beyond the government, local reporters took the opportunity to ask the stars about the show's negative portrayal of Koreans. What difference does it make? I'm not hurting anybody. But what about yourself? Number 3. Sex in the City, Singapore A show focused on the sex lives of single women living in New York was too steamy for censors in Singapore, at least originally. And this is a problem? No, it just, well, it just, it, it feels odd. The government banned the show when it premiered in the late 90s on HBO in the United States and pretty much everywhere else in the world. Don't you think we're good without it? No, I do not! Then, in 2004, they relented and changed the subscription TV program code to allow the show to air in the country, with certain scenes removed, that is. In an appropriate and cheeky bit of advertising, HBO Asia plugged the delayed release with the tagline, Love is always worth the wait. Well, I have no intention of using that. I'm saving sex for someone I love. Fantastic. Is there a man in the picture? Number 2. The Simpsons, Venezuela well, I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? I'm Charlie Old St. Nick. Oh, yeah? We'll just see about that. So We kind of take it for granted that the Simpsons family members aren't supposed to be role models. Homer, that was a 20. Yeah! But apparently, not everyone feels that way, at least according to Venezuela's TV regulator. In 2008, Venezuela banned the long-running show for being inappropriate and disseminating messages that go against the whole education of boys, girls, and adolescents. It was replaced by the more suitable for children, Baywatch? Venezuela isn't actually the only country to take aim at the show. It was also banned from primetime television in China to help Chinese animation studios, and almost fell to pressure from Pentagon coastal churches in Russia. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Modern Family, Iran Oh, forget it. I can't do this. The point is you're scared. I think you've learned your lesson. Wow. Ow! Iran didn't just ban Modern Family from airing in the country, they developed their own version of it. Half Sang is an Iranian-produced, unauthorized knockoff of the popular American sitcom that mirrors the original quite closely. At times, it even looks like a shot-for-shot -shot remake. That is, of course, without the show's gay couple Mitchell and Cam. What do you mean? You bring it up every chance that you get. I know what nonstop means! Instead, they created a straight couple. This is, of course, due to the Iranian government's harsh views on homosexuality. Half Sang also changed Haley's gender because Iranian TV doesn't allow for the friendship between boys and girls. While Modern Family ran for 11 seasons out of Iran, Half Sang only ran for one in 2014. Oh, I wasn't even trying for that. Nice. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.